we have to get better on third downs, uh, and, that, and that's on me. Uh, we had a, a, a great chance in the red zone to end up with seven and not three, uh, and I miss Chris. And it's some bullshit. We got Michael Thomas, Jarvis Landry, and Chris Olave, and we still looking like our offense is running in quicksand all game long. What the fuck? Today with what happened between Marshawn and... Yeah, that's just like a little bit out of control, man. That's like, it's getting old, it's getting old. I mean, I wasn't surprised. This was like the, what, the second and third time the players tried to start a fight with us, I guess, because they can't beat us on the field. They're always ready to fight off the field. And that's fine. You know, to let the NFL know if that's how they want to get down and allow that shit to happen. After the game, I bought some boxing gloves for Lattimore. I say, look, for December matchup, we ain't even got to practice football drills. We can just go to the gym and get our boxing on so we can get ready for what Mike Evans going to try next time, all right? Tell them, don't start no shit, won't be no shit. If that's how they want to get down, that's how we're going to get down. That's tough, uh... I mean, the only thing that matters is, you know, is winning the game. So, um, yeah, I think any time you lose a game like that, especially at home, in front of fans, in front of people, uh, you know, it's going to sit with you for a few days. Nah, I had rather, I'd rather lose to the Falcons, to be honest with you. Nah, I'm joking. I don't know. I, I won't want to lose to the Falcons. But, I mean, look, I talked a lot of shit to Bucks fans all week. A lot of shit. So, you ever had Bucks fans in your mentions? It ain't fun. It ain't fun. And now, now we gotta deal with that shit for a whole week. Kim, did you get asked about the penalty you were called for? I, I think it was a decent holding. I, I haven't been able to see the replay. You, you wanna be real that? about this? Yeah. We're not gonna do this on camera. Don't, 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 don't mention the refs. Don't mention the refs. I don't wanna get fined. Well, then can you talk about the emotions of the game, man? Can you believe these blind motherfuckers? I think it was kind of like a turning point. Mm -hmm. Nah, Mark is lucky we like him, cause um, that gave me Jared Cook flashbacks, and uh, we'll go back to work, see what we can do better, and try to improve. I mean, we're one and one, um, and that one win was against the Falcons, and the only reason that we won that game was because the Falcons Falcons. So does that even really count? <laughs> Um, yeah, look, I'm trying to be optimistic, but it's looking a little bleak. It's definitely looking a little bit. Who even got next week? Carolina? Oh. Oh, shit, then. Are we gonna be out? Did you see when I hit him, Tom? Sure did. It was about time you showed some fight, because you sure wasn't fighting him off the line of scrimmage. Bet! Bet! Ah, man, I mean... He owns you, but Mike, I'll take it. I guess. Mike, Mike, good job, good job, buddy. Just um, I guess um, I, I can't beat him on the field, so I always figure, why can't I just beat him in a fight? You know? Oh uh, yes, Mike. Does that really qualify as beating him in a fight uh -huh. when you always hit him from behind instead of face to face uh -huh. like a man? Well, you gotta understand. It it feels like he's hitting me from behind whenever we match up because he always screws over me. So yeah. Hey fans, hit the subscribe button in three seconds to make this Bucks fan sad. Three, two, one.